Hey, what's up everyone? This is Lord of Epirus bringing you episode 5 of my stainless steel for Medieval 2 Let's Play. Yes, long title. <laughs> but I uploaded um, episode 1, uh, I think it was a few days ago. I was going to upload episode 2, but kind of forgot. But I'm going to have to start uploading because these videos are taking up so much room. I only have like 500 um, gigabytes left out of my 1 trilobyte. Oh, whatever it is. And I mean, I, I, I can't exactly use it all on videos because I need to save room for obviously Rome 2, which is going to be like 35 fucking gigabytes. And there's also Europa Universal uh, 4, I think, or 5, I can't remember, which is going to be a lot as well. But um, yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm probably going to buy a few more games because of the summer sale, which only which ends on, ends on the 22nd and there's a, some really cool games that have uh, gone up unfortunately I don't get paid until Tuesday it's annoying <laughs> but yeah I mean last time we left off we were just um, we defeated two of the Scottish armies and we marched on to Edinburgh and Edinburgh is defended which I didn't realize by William Wallace so one of the armies that was here did not contain William Wallace or did but he somehow retreated this is going to be a strong force because they will have a lot of chevrons you can't see but I mean that noble archer doesn't have much but I'm, I'm sure they're going to have a few chevrons themselves and uh, will cause a bit of problems um what's the wait time on this siege five turns i don't yes. really want to wait five turns but my men badly need replenishing so yeah i'm probably gonna build a boat because i kind of need to get up and down quicker so we'll build two boats so i can quickly come up and down from here and start moving some more men up because uh i can build some but i think what i'm gonna do is uh hmm this is done in four turns yes if i send yeah if i send one up there i can probably like use it to replenish some others so we'll build that uh, let's build an archer as well Come I think on, yeah archers and maybe yeoman okay so we'll build an archer build a yeoman and a cavalry unit so we'll send all that up there we have money so you, these like strong units are not really going to cause us too much of a hassle our income is pretty good yeah it's uh, nice but Unfortunately, it doesn't mean it's going to last forever, and I don't know about you, but I've never been good at keeping an economy. <laughs> That's always been a big difference between me and Troy, who's uh, basically like my gamer and uh, twin in real life. He's not my twin in real life, but we, we pretty much like love all the same shit, like the uh, same TV series, same games. Uh, you know, we, we just, we've been good friends, best friends probably, since high school, and He'll probably say no, I'm not his best friend, but he's mine. <laughs> yeah, he has those friends. He's a dick. <laughs> but yeah, um, but unfortunately, he's out today. He's uh, gone out. So yeah, he's doing some personal shit. So I'm left on my own without anyone to play with. It's so horrible. But it's so hot today. I mean, I I have been sweating. Like I could literally feel pints of fucking sweat at the moment. I sweat. I <laughs> I do sweat quite a bit. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm very warm-blooded and I, I hate the heat. I absolutely hate it. So, send out Messerud to the Crown of Aragon. So now we're going to have Your trade rights with the Aragon and the... Without question, Hang on, that, that was Castile, wasn't it? Aragon. Castile, yeah. Crown of Castile, not Aragon, sorry. Because yes, we've already got something with the um, Aragon. Aragonians. So we'll get trade rights with the Castiles. Crown of Castile. There has been a jihad called on Baghdad. Luckily enough, Baghdad's only rebels, which... Uh, that looks like an amazing city that does. That looks absolutely amazing. Is that Babylon? Baghdad, Babylon? Is that what it is? No, that's uh, too far down. I think, oh, it might, it might be actually, I just don't know. Uh, the map seems a lot different. Oh, I don't oh, know, it is, yeah, because it's between the two rivers. I believe that is actually Babylon. But I could be wrong, because I, I thought Babylon was around here, but I may be wrong, so someone can correct me if they like. Okay, so I just built two ships and I got two ships. That's, uh, Nice of them, but I don't want them because it would just cost upkeep and we don't need them. So, these are. Uh, these men are built. Why did I build two archers here? No idea. So, we'll send that, 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 and that, and that up. I'm just going to put this archer up here. In fact, build another archer and we'll build another one of those. Just so we can keep a bit of defense on Yorkdale, just in case something goes wrong. 
I mean, you never know. Some army, like a Scottish army, could still be up there, and it could. They um, they do have lands down here still, I think. Which means they could land uh, an army around here. So it's always good to have just a small force of garrison, or at least a large enough force to um, take on anything which could be a problem, or at least damage it enough so it's not a problem. War declared. Crown of Castile and Aragon. What a shocker. But in history, they did actually unite to defeat the Muslims, which is uh, good. But unfortunately, the game is obviously not going to take historical things into matter right now. Um, but it, but in um, Rome too, apparently historical things are going to be quite unique. I mean, like the Battle of uh, Battle for Denial is uh, obviously somewhere in. Um, I believe it is somewhere in the campaign, or, or they've just made it look like in, in the campaign. But I can't be too sure. No, we well, will not well, ask. Well, uh, give you ceasefire. Be. Why would we? Good day. We're winning. <laughs> We've just defeated two of your armies. All that stands left is William Wallace and his pedival bunch of highlanders and whatnot. You're all dead. The blockade, my poor. That's not nice. But I can still move my boats. <sighs> But yeah, I mean, today's been quite boring. <laughs> Woke up later than I normally do because uh, I couldn't sleep last night. It was so bloody hot. I don't know what the way. I don't know why the weather's been like this. Coat of plates, mid-century, 13th century. What's the mid 12th century? But okay. Blockade port. There. That's miles away, man. I suppose I might need some more boats. Can we build bigger boats? Yeah, we can. I'm going to build some of these because uh, I need a fleet, I suppose. <laughs> Not too big fleet, but a fleet, nonetheless. I'm going to get some more infantry in this place as well. My king. Really horrible kids outside screaming when I'm trying to make a video. Oh! Fucking kids, man. That's, this is why I'm never having kids. It's, they're, just, they're just so annoying. And I know <laughs> probably some order. of you are thinking, well, yeah, obviously One kids minute. aren't meant to be yes, annoying sir, when they're young. Sir. No, they're not. They're meant to be cute and kind and nice. They should be, at least. The human race is flawed in so many ways. Your will, sire. Your will, sire. Send these guys back down. And then... This guy can... Hmm, where's my other one? Do they not have one here? Guess not. Hopefully that kid will shut up and not come through the bloody video if he doesn't. Why can I not move it there? So oh, I hate this game. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what else is there? Oh, there's the other one. Okay. They got a both. Yeah, it's both same chevron. So I'll move you down as well. Send you down. And then we'll sort out the archers. Dink. I don't. I don't. I don't. Dink. And dink. And then sort out the cavalry. Cavalry sorted. Yes, sir. And then I'll sort out the UMM yes, boat. The UMM boat sorted. There we go. So we actually got some, well, everything's replenished. And then once this is uh, being all Such replenished, the army here, they can, uh, some of it can come back up. I'm probably going to get rid of that actually because I can't want it on the boat. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't really want it. I don't want it. But this will be done in two turns the barracks, which will mean I'll be able to recruit more than one Norman sergeant. Sergeant, where it is. So it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, this uh, completed it. Sparrow, shit, no, one more turn. Okay. Let's make, I'm gonna keep all this army here, I think. Oh, except from these guys, might as well just get rid of the mercenaries. They will cost uh, a bit of cash, a bit of that dodo. Not too much, but, you know. It's good to get rid of mercenaries, especially in Crusader Kings. <laughs> mercenaries are so expensive. But it's not like you get like 30k in Crusader Kings. Your best bet is to get in like a couple of thousand and then hiring a mercenary group and then having it for like one war and then having to disband it and probably using most of that money trying to win the war. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a, I, I, I realize they've tried to make it very like historically accurate because wars were very expensive. I mean, you couldn't just wage a war and expect to win it in a year. It normally lasted a lot of fucking time. And, uh, obviously. I mean, if I was the English king, then I wouldn't really bother trying to wage war on France. I would 
you know, I would try and conquer Britain first and Ireland and whatnot. The British Isles. Because then if you have enough power base in Britain, you control all of it, it's great income, loads of manpower, and you can just send out An order. the armies that you needed, or the armies that you, like the biggest army you can possibly manage, and like with all the resources of Britain to back it up. Two more turns until that surrenders, so they'll I'm gonna let them just siege it out. Because they'll probably come out and attack me and I can just use my archers again. And then rape them. Ships ready, leaving the boat, As I do. <laughs> sire. We'll make camp so here, that's done sire. in that next turn, and these are done. Ordered by your command. Bloody As oh, you wish. I hate this. My lord. I don't Lord like it when it's like this. I want organization. There we go. As you wish. <laughs> Is it alph alphabetical or something? No idea, probably. <laughs> um, I don't think I really need to build anything here, so... Well, build any units at least. Start working on that. Just like I said, I'm going to use this as my southern defensive area. We'll have a small force of well, about seven odd units, maybe more, to be like the, the army of the south, because we'll probably have... Just like defensive forces all around the... Um, kingdom not too big and like not too much upkeep but enough to cause a damage until the main army cause enough damage until the main army arrives who are these guys that's the main army at the moment a very powerful army Fleet ready, sire. oh yeah I need to send naval the siege up here no, siege. Ready. <laughs> blockade the see fleet. I don't want to blockade that because that'll be sire. War on. Who, who owns this? Norwegians. I don't really want to be at war with Norwegians, so I'm going to tell the Pope to fuck off. I don't know yes, if I could sir. decline that Full mission. Whatever, Pope. Sail. You're a dick. The Pope doesn't like us very much, which is quite out of order. I mean, I haven't done anything but help him. Maybe it's because I'm fighting these guys. You'll probably excommunicate me for it. You'll be like, oh my god, leave Scotland alone. <laughs> no, they deserve to be conquered. The British Isles belong to me. I am the conqueror. Even though I'm not William, but I'm still the conqueror. Wish I could name my king. Danny's not really a um, English name, it's more of a Welsh Irish kind of thing. But um I don't, I never really understood why they there was never I don't know if there was a King Danny. I hope there was. But he'll probably be shit because you don't you don't know unlike anyone called King Danny in England. So clearly if there was one, he wasn't very popular. <laughs> but there was a lot of kings. I hope we get a king soon. Nothing against the Queen. I just wouldn't mind to have a king. God save his king. <laughs> queen. King, whatever. Yeah. God save the king, sorry. An order. God ruining my own fucking anthem. My own country's one. Construction, lots of construction. Good. It's good. Let's build up the garrison so we can build some better units because the garrison in here is terrible. Like, yeah, barracks. Right, you're done. That means you're. This is Wales. I'm just gonna build brothel just in case they don't like me much. Well, they should like me. I'm a very likable person. We'll build that and then we'll go for a turn. Well, my ship's take forever to move back. And my mom's back, so she's gonna make a bit of noise! Hopefully, not too much. If she does, I'll go mental and scream her. Okay, so that means William Wallace is dead because he didn't bother attacking me. I understand because he had no chance, but he could have at least died an honorable death. But I don't know, I mean. I can't really understand them. Ugh. Don't know what I'm gonna do after this. After I made this, I was kind of doing. I was gonna. I was thinking of doing a um a, Sic a Sicily one as well, but we've been a lot of work and uh, don't really have well the patience, I guess. Someone dead that has a really random name. Declare Portugal and Castile. Aren't like Castile out all of Aragon as well? They're gonna get raped. Right, so who didn't replenish last time? The surgeon. 
sergeant, whatever his name is. Oh, it's because I can't bloody whip. Can't train him anymore. I didn't realise that was going to happen. That's not good. <laughs> Why can't I train them anymore? This bloody barracks, isn't it? I'm guessing that I'm going to have to try and upgrade my things at one point. Okay, um... Yeah, the army's going to have to be upgraded at some point, or we'll have to keep it up in the north, or bring it down here where it can actually be trained. Because uh, this is the only place now. Well, there is other places which I could make it so it's useful, but um, nothing in which was my power base can no longer replenish. But it does mean we have access to new units, especially these dismounted king's men, which are very powerful. And we have spearmen surgeons, which are very cool. And obviously we have heavy billmen and all the other fancy units, but oh well, we'll see what happens. We could build up a new army. I mean, this army could be like the other, the northern army or something. But we'll uh, have to have, we'll, small, like, we'll make it smaller, so just the infantry, a couple of archers and like two units of cavalry or something. It doesn't have to be too powerful, it's just for revolts, you know. Okay, um... Send up two units so they can be the yes. garrison up here. No today, Let's send. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to leave these here, I think. Except me, still. I'm going to bring these up. I need some more infantry. Yes, sire. Need more infantry. Um, ships ready. Yes, um, ready, sire. Let's recruit those. I'm going to move this back because I don't think I need to defend Nottingham now. I don't think Scotland have much left. But we'll see. I mean, there might be a, a small Scottish army up here. You never know. Let's go for another turn. Kingdom of Sicily. Very, uh, it's a very cool uh, kingdom for me. I like playing them in Crusader Kings, but unfortunately, it, it does um, kind of annoy me that you can't really conquer, you know. Uh, Italy because of the Holy Roman Empire being way too powerful. <laughs> the Holy Roman Empire and the uh, Crusader Kings too are overpowered. And I believe that is a French fleet. I could be wrong. Actually, I think it's Scottish actually. I see the crossing. I don't know. French and Scots. Uh, Scotland should be yellow for me for some reason. I don't know why. I think they should just be yellow. But I mean, they're fine red, I suppose. Uh, blue. Because it does match their flag. I think um, France would be cool if they were white, but I don't know. <laughs> a new, a new discovery deadly weapon. That could change the course of warfare. Yep. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. Well, Jihad was one, and it was actually the Fatimids. So the Fatimids must be pretty damn powerful right now. Wouldn't mind getting uh, getting to know where they are, but can't. I can Sire, what is it you would discuss with me? I guess this concludes our meeting. As you wish. Impossible, my liege. Yeah, just uh, trying to find out what kind of land Cassio's on. See if they're getting beaten up by the Muslims, I doubt it. Because it looks like Portugal have been doing a good job as well against the Muslims. Okay. Yes, Send the army out. Scotland will fight ye for these waters. Oh. <laughs> An order. Orders. There you go. They'll wish they'd never been born. Damn right. Yes. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Probably gonna go Only for a siege because I don't really want to wait seven ready, bloody turns. I'll be that for you. Yeah. <laughs> this is not your fleet. No, it's sunken. Why would I want it? Dick. <laughs> Victory on the high seas, sire. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, probably go for a sea. Uh, probably have to fight the siege. Where's the port here? Apparently there isn't one. It's actually there, but there's nothing there. I think. No, it's not built. Random. Okay, so next I'll build a dock port. Just so we can have ports there. Yeah, Scottish Navy. Because I believe we're still friendly over the French neutral, whatever. Are we allied with the Holy Roman Empire anymore? Yep. Holy Roman Empire is an ally, very powerful, very cool. 
and very much gonna be my partner in war, I hope. <laughs> Depends how much, like if they expand into France I might have to go to war with them. Because I want France. I have claim to France in my opinion, I deserve it. William had claim to both France and England. He deserves it all. So we deserve it all. <laughs> he didn't really have claim to France and everything, but he could have, um, he could have become an heir because uh, sometimes France did become like a monarchy where the, not a monarchy basically, it would uh, come something where I could like vote whoever becomes the um, next king because of um, like heirs not being, well no heirs being there or something, but that rarely happened I suppose. I don't want to watch your movement and come on, let's go. Fucking uncle's up here and he's got the most annoying fucking loud voice ever. King of Denmark's dead, King of Hungary's dead. Wow, shit tons of buildings built. Let's see. Um This is London. I'm gonna build Let's build a no, that's a lot of money. Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna build that. Uh, let's build a church. Nope, that's a lot of money. Oh screw I'm just gonna go with that. Buildings are coming out very expensive. Let's <laughs> build a brothel. Archery range. Okay, um, build a church. We don't have a big church yet. And here we'll build a drill. And here, let's build in the dock. Good. Good, 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 good. Aragon and Castillo declared a truce. Skip. Okay, this is going to be ended anyway, guys, because, uh, I think the video has already been quite long, but when we come back, we'll continue conquering Scotland. And then, once Scotland is under our control, I think we'll have to move on to where uh, to down here, <laughs> and we'll first take over this place here, which is Cain, because it's Normandy, and it means it's always uh, it's meant to be our land. It should be ours. <laughs> But yes, when we come back, so hope you enjoyed this guys and stay tuned, more episodes very soon. Bye!